I don't understand what they're doing here, but if they plan on using a crisis in Texas, which supports the Second Amendment for their effort to ban guns, I think they fell and bumped their head, Antonia. Uh, you would be very correct there, Lawrence. Absolutely. I mean, this is Texas where we just uh, implemented constitutional carry not too long ago. But you know what? Unfortunately, this is what we're seeing with the anti-gun left. They didn't take any time to start fundraising on the on the backs of murdered children, fundraising letters in order to get money off of this horrific tragedy. And first, before I even continue, I want to say, as a parent of two young children myself, mm -hmm. I want to give my heartfelt and deepest condolences to the families of this horrific tragedy. And I, I can only, I could only imagine um, the grief that they're going through. But as a Texan, as a woman, as a gun owner, I know that the answer does not lie in gun control. And in fact, it hasn't worked. Simply, it has not worked and it continues not to work. You know, Antonia, I'm just curious. If we entrusted a government to keep us and our children safe, and they failed with their guns. Why would we ever give up our guns? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't, and, and the fact of the matter is is that the Second Amendment is a protection um, for this very scenario, and that, that the people, the founders who wrote the Second Amendment in our Bill of Rights wrote them because as a protection of something that we already have, which is a human right, a God-given right to self-defense, to self-protection, and to keep that regardless of what the, the government's ability to be there to defend us or not. And so that's, that's the issue here, is that people have a fundamental misunderstanding of what important here. If we really want change in D.C. and what's been going on um, with gun laws, then we need to see things like a federal repeal of the Gun-Free School Zone Act. Um, we need to arm teachers who want to be armed, who want to defend their children um, if that horrible scenario should ever happen. That's what we should be doing, equipping and empowering those who want to do the right thing when that time occurs. You know, Antonia, an off-duty border patrol agent was in the chair getting his hair cut, didn't have his weapon on him, went to his barber, got his shotgun, and not only went into the school to rescue his daughter and his wife, but rescued other children. When people said, wait. Right, and, and those are the people that I would hope if, if anything like that ever happened to me, God forbid, that I would hope those brave men and women, regardless of if they have a background, Border Patrol or not, um, just an average day citizen, a law-abiding person who happens to be a gun owner even, um, being able to help in those situations when, when patrol's not there, when police officers aren't there. And so that's what the Second Amendment is all about, is protecting that God-given right of those people who choose to step up in that situation and do the right thing. And thankfully, we had some who did the right thing, or the, otherwise we would have had more casualties. That's right. The Second Amendment is our last tool of defense. Antonio Okafor, thank you so much for joining the program tonight. Thanks for having me on.